hop back here? What? You want to hop back here? If either of you guys want to hop on. Yeah, I want to play with you and Okay, I'm back. So yeah, that was cool. I like this conversation this game. All right, so here we are, losers final. Uh, we've got Suarez and Jay Clark. Suarez opting for the Yoshi. So same matchup, losers finals, Jay Clark versus Suarez. Uh, Suarez, uh, I think uh, Kiro's roommate, or at least his buddy. Yeah, uh, somebody was telling me that. Yeah. Kiro, too scared to come out and play me. Um, <laughs> so Suarez, you know, has to take his place. Never miss an opportunity Strength. to talk smack, huh? Yeah, well, stranded also, too scared. That's right. Um, but we do have Suarez, who's playing fantastic today. He's done a pretty solid job uh, today. Yeah, he, yeah, he did really well in losers or in winners bracket. Um, gave me a tough time. And uh, in probably my best matchup, uh, Pika Yoshi. So it was yeah. very obvious that he's played a lot of that with uh, Absolutely. with Kiro. Yo, Barry, I was right. So here, Jay Clark. I don't think he has uh, he has anywhere near as much experience as I have against Yoshi. With Yoshi, no, definitely um, not. He's probably played Elu at least a few times. A handful of and, times. Uh, and Moft. Moft has run, run so him through a few. Moft and Elu are local Rochester players. Both have uh, both Yoshis. Elu, Solo, Yoshi main. Moft, Mario, and Yoshi. Yeah, that and I think, I think he played Mario the whole tournament today, right? Yes, yeah, I believe so. So definitely Jay Clark could uh, so get Jay caught Clark, off guard a little bit by the Yoshi today. Yeah, it doesn't fully have the experience. And Yoshi is one character where if you don't have the matchup experience, it's deadly because yeah, you, need it's know, you need to know know how to break the armor, uh, need to know how to deal with parrying, how to deal with his ridiculous combo game and ground game. Speaking of, here's a here's an armor break opportunity. It gets it, uses the back air, Pika's yep. uh, strongest aerial for breaking armor. Uh, his forward air is pretty good at breaking armor too, but not in the same way. Um, so that was smart. Well, I just, so uh, you notice Suarez loves to get on the ledge and just do a regular get up his Yoshi. Yeah. Wow, that, oh. wow the ground bound. Edge guard, what was that? Crazy, uh, crazy moves from Suarez. And the down air just yep. caught him without his double jump. So last stock, game one. Gets the back air, opens up oh. with some shield pressure. Wow, uh, no jump out of shield or up -y out, as I would expect from Jake Clark. He loves to up -y away from trouble, but there he just stuck in shield and Oh, he's paying for it. He took 69% off that pressure. He's got the up tilt. Can he get the grab? He could get a string. Oh, he just tries for an S match. I, that might have been an input mistake. Uh, he could have got a grab and got a lot off of that, but at least he got all the up tilts. Yoshi, when he's at Yoshi's at really low percents, uh, he can get out of the up tilts, but once he has a bit of damage on him, it's yeah, you can up tilt him a lot as Pikachu. Okay, so how is he going to handle this ledge guard? He tries the Nair, that's not going to work. Nair does not break till much later. I think it breaks oh, at 89%. So. Uh, but he gets the forward air to re-grab. This should be an easy edge guard. He just holds yep. the ledge, he takes it. Jay Clark. That's game one. Winning game one. Now, you think we're going to see a character swap here? I don't know. Um, Suarez stayed, obviously Suarez stayed Yoshi for the first two games against me. Yeah, he um, did switch game three. He switched game three. Looks like maybe the same. I think Same it makes strategy here. Yeah, it I feel like uh just thinking in theory, like Suarez has this Yoshi that he's practiced a lot against Pikachu, right. against Kiro. Uh, he showed against me, he clearly knows what he's doing against Pikachu. Yep. And Jay Clark does not have a lot of matchup experience, you know, as we saw with that Nair, as we saw with uh just uh, you know, yeah. his edge guarding hasn't been as good, but uh he's been able to build up damage so effectively that it hasn't mattered a whole lot, so Really, Suarez, I think if he gets a couple big combos, he could definitely win this game. Oh, yeah, a few, a few of those Yoshi spikes up off the ledge. And, yeah. Uh, we could see a very different game this time. But if he just has more stocks like that where, you know, he just gets nickel and dime, you can't really go blow for blow with Pikachu, right? Right. Against Pikachu, uh, Pikachu is the master at just stray hits and grabs. Racking it up. 
right? Because he's going to be able to live a lot longer than you are, and his throws are ridiculous. So when you're fighting Pikachu, you, you need combos. Yeah. Um, trying to just like, you know, beat him with stray hits is, is really, really difficult. Uh, especially, you know, Jake Clark, not a slouch in the neutral game. Right. Um, so. Could we well, see a shield break? Oh, oh, he gets out. It was a great setup for the shield break. It was uh, some great DJC's positioning. Wow, good. Oh, good egg. that egg. Can't follow it up. I thought for sure the intangibility frames would be long enough to get through that one. I like there, he, uh, he did the double dash attack to push him off stage, and then uh, a newer Yoshi would probably just run off hoping to get the forward air. But yep. he, he didn't wait. He didn't have to judge the distance. He immediately knew he couldn't get a forward there. there. He just threw the egg to block the obvious up options from Jay Clark. From Jay Clark to get back. So Suarez, uh, well, that was, see, Jake Clark, I just think he doesn't know the armor breaker sense against yeah. Yoshi. And here's the kind of combo I was talking about. Wow, 81% off of one hit, and he gets the edge guard situation. Pulls the down air out of that. Here. No. That's almost the whole stock. Yoshi, if he gets stocks like that, he can definitely win this matchup. If he Absolutely. doesn't get stocks like that, it's going to be extremely difficult. That's just what it's going what it's going to come down to, I think, in this match. Oh, up tilt to immediate down air, but, or immediate forward air, but he doesn't get the tech chase, he just hits him off stage, so that's not so good. J. Clark needs his edge guard. No! Oh, no. Wow! J. Clark, I think he tried to do the back air, didn't space it quite right. Yep. Suarez but knew. Spike caught him off guard. Yeah, Suarez knew J. Clark was going to try and go out and hit him with an aerial and just easily dodged it. Uh, smart stuff from Suarez, throwing out that forward air. Um, even if it had missed, he would have recovered. As far as taking that game, really convincingly, three stock. Tying it up, going into game three. Mm -hmm. I think, wow. Let's see how Four fast. Another grab. No, <laughs> Nair is not going to break at 69. Not going to work. Uh, Jake Clark, whoa, I don't know what those rolls. That's, that's a little panicky. I think uh, Jake Clark, he just, he needs to be, if he doesn't know the armor break percentage, which, you know, it's clear he doesn't, and if you don't have Yoshi in your region, like that can happen. Um, Absolutely. He just needs to play a lot safer, a safer. when Yoshi's recovering. There, he, he just got a Nair, spaced it well enough that uh, Yoshi couldn't get anything off it. Just got a bit of percent, but so he probably wants a grab here. Or maybe it's just a back here. Well, that uh, looks like a chance for he could have just run up and grab. Yeah, Instead, he gets this. Room. Okay, uh, other hit of up smash will do it, but Thunder. Uh, back air would have killed there, so I don't know if the thunder was even intentional. And forward air doesn't break the eggs. Yeah, Pikachu can get through the eggs really easily with up yeah, air, but attack. forward air isn't going to work. He gets the grab after the forward air, so uh, despite... He's got some pretty high percentages on both characters yeah, here. Yeah, despite uh, taking a lot of hits, he manages to get the first stock. That's a, one nice thing Pikachu has is that... If someone's at high percent against him, like he can always just get the grab. It's so reliable it's, finisher yeah. that a lot of characters like Falcon and Yoshi just don't have. Even though they have amazing combo games, it can be hard for them to finish off stocks if they do a combo that doesn't lead to death. Suarez doing a lot of grabs. Jay Clark with a lot of forward airs, a move that's really good against Yoshi. Yes. Um, if he's in armor and he gets hit by the forward air, he can't start a move because none of his moves start out, Quick none of enough. his aerials start out frame one. So as soon as he starts a move while he's getting hit by the forward air, he's stuck. Right. He loses his armor when he starts to move, and then the forward air will just beat the move out. So, uh, yeah, that's, just, can't do that. Looks so like Jake Clark going for the back air there, maybe learning that the, yeah. the Nair's not going to cut it. Yeah, I think so. Back air is really strong. Um, one thing Pikachu has to watch out for is Jay Clark is using a lot of back airs in neutral, which is smart. Back air, really strong tool in neutral for Pikachu. But uh, if it's stale, even you know, even if it's a couple moves back in the stale queue, yeah, uh, it's going to not break armor as early. You know, it's going to be the difference between breaking at like 76 and breaking like in the mid 80s. Yeah, or I mean, even the mid 90s. So that's going to be a huge it's impact. It's a pretty if significant you're not aware difference. Of it. Yeah. Um, and for someone that is not too experienced playing against Yoshi, like I think he'll yeah, maybe not know how to handle the staleness. But he's keeping it. She's like, oh no, yeah, that was not a strong back air, and Yoshi wasn't at the percent for it anyway. But he gets away with it safely, so he's doing a better job of when Yoshi's recovering, 
He's not necessarily breaking the armor, but he is at least spacing his moves well and uh, just using it as a chance to get extra damage, which is smart. He Absolutely. builds up enough damage that he can just do a back throw and just kill Yoshi outright. So that's a good way to handle it. Wow, forward throw. Forward Yoshi. though, Suarez really liking those, uh, those throws. Tries nope. for some up tilts. Yeah, Suarez has been dash attacking into uh, into up tilt and getting some decent leverage out of it. Oh, he tried for the grab again. Um, interesting note is Suarez is playing on a Hori. I believe he borrowed from Kiro. I don't know if he's used to the Hori, so it could be. We've been seeing Suarez do a ton of grabs. It's possible that he's not used to the Hori's unique oh, trigger layout, and yeah. some of the grabs are actually Fire! unintentional. That could be. Um, yeah, the triggers on the Hori are a major difference from the OG and 64 controller, so. Oh, gets the up air, takes game two, much closer. Good stuff to Suarez. Yeah, so uh, I'll be it'll be interesting to ask him whether or not those grabs were intentional or like if they're just part of his gameplay. Or Do you know, does he use does he use triggers for aerials at all too? Do you think he's maybe just not getting jumps out? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not hey, sure. it could be, yeah. Because the stick, if he's stick jumping, that's a little bit of a thing to get used to, too. Yeah, yeah, it is a different stick. So I don't actually know how used to Hori he is. Um, that's just one thing it could be to explain those. Or he could be, you know, uh, just used to people shielding a lot, which is reasonable. People do tend to shield a lot against Yoshi. That's true. So that could be what the grabs are for. Um, and I happen to know Suarez is a very strong Smash 4 player. So And he also plays Yoshi in Smash 4. Oh, that's so pretty it wild. It could be the grab is a habit from there where shields are super strong in Smash 4, so you have to be able to use your grab. Either way, it's uh, well, those rolls, that is pretty sketchy. I don't know what's <laughs> going on there. This could be up and over here with an egg. Nope. It's the back air not quite going to kill. Ooh. Did Jake Clark not have a jump? No, he didn't. He lost his jump. Okay, that yeah, explains he lost that. It. Yeah. Jack Clark with a great forward air from the ledge, immediately gets the grab. Then another forward air. Wow, he just built up, there's a lot of damage he just built off on this. A couple of forward airs and an up air. But this is the kind of combo Suarez needs. Gets the forward air, and he gets it. That grab was intentional. He went for it last time. <laughs> he read the tech in. That's what it is. He's doing the forward air to launch them, spike them down onto the platform, and then he does the grab, which covers the entire platform. So it should cover all the tech options. Really smart, cool combo from Suarez. Was he gonna get it again? He might. Same combo? Oh, doesn't manage to land on the platform and get the grab that time. Um, but still got a solid 60% there. Jay Clark really needs to take this stock ASAP uh, or it's gonna be a problem. He gets the back air, just an F smash will do it. No! Doesn't hog the ledge, doesn't have smash. But he manages to uh, to punish it with the forward air to grab, which he's been landing a ton of. Forward air, as I said, really hard for Yoshi to deal with. Whoa, just grabbed the dash tag. That was ballsy. Yeah, that was. Gets hit with a down smash. And the back air, will that seal it? Schickler. Okay, so this could be Jay Clark's last stock in the tournament. He gets the grab off the up tilts this time. Will he break the, the armor? Back air would break the armor. He goes for a down air instead. He's literally 3% off breaking the armor. Oh, and that'll do it. Last, last stock. stock. This is a forward air to back. Back throw, which he's been doing so many of. Dash attack. Another dash attack. Oh, Goes misses the, the spike. Air. Not quite for Suarez. He's built up so much damage. Gets back thrown so close. No! Only a couple percent off that back air breaking the armor. Back throw here could do it. Another back air, or another back throw. S smash. Oh, back air does it. And that Jay does Clark it. We're going to see game it five. Two two going to game five. I'm going to go grab some water. 
and very, very thirsty. <laughs> So we are going straight in to game five. No character swaps here. We've got Jay Clark and Suarez, two apiece. Uh, losers finals here. So this is the final, potentially final, for, uh, for one of these two. Both players kind of struggling to turn any any stray hit into a combo here. Suarez with a hard read for the high recovery, which J. Clark has been doing for most of the afternoon. B by Suarez. Both players uh, relatively even here, as we've seen for most of the day. Suarez takes a one stock lead. Um, J. Clark's going to have to rack up some damage pretty quick on this stock. You could see a spike here. Missed by Suarez. So this year, J. Clark's tournament stock. coming down with a fresh, fresh one here. Uh, it could be one, one good string here from Yoshi. Could wind up finishing it up. The down B up and over finishes it up. That will put us grand finals with Suarez and.